What an opening segment to Friday Night Smackdown. Genuinely did not expect this. Of course, you can see a car is crashed in the background. You can see it's crashed into a sign or a lamppost. And you can see Elias being aided by medical professionals on the floor. Renee Young there with a microphone telling people what's going on. Elias got loaded up into an ambulance. Like... We didn't know what the hell was going on at first. And, of course, they said that someone ran away from the car. Braun Strowman was then interviewed because he was an eyewitness, which I thought was a pretty cool thing that someone actually saw it because, of course, people are around. Um, Jeff Hardy's name was mentioned, and shortly after they found Jeff Hardy, he'd obviously been beaten up, and I think he obviously got set up. I think that's kind of what we're going with here. And later on, obviously, we saw Jeff taken away by the police. He got arrested because they said they, he smelled of alcohol and they thought he'd been drink driving. Um, Renee Young providing all this commentary throughout and basically telling the WWE Universe what had happened, an interruption to the start of SmackDown. I'm convinced it wasn't Jeff Hardy. I'm convinced Jeff's been set up. Um, obviously, this is a very sort of fresh story. It's just happened. But I assume we're going to get the hacker involved with this. I think the hacker will probably have some kind of CCTV or something of the actual event happening that will prove Jeff Hardy's innocence later on tonight, maybe. Maybe even next week. I think this is a really cool way to prolong the hacker storyline by literally inventing this. Of course, Jeff, we have seen in the past. We've sort of theorised on the channel um, could be some kind of target of the hacker. We thought that the hacker may be watching him. So hopefully the hacker was, and he can now expose the truth and clear Jeff Hardy's name. It's great to see Jason Jordan on WWE TV. Obviously, he does work backstage now, so obviously he played this role perfectly. I'm really interested in this. I think SmackDown nailed this. I th really think this was such a good story, such a good way to start off SmackDown, SmackDown still on in the background. I can tell you right now, they got the entire locker room together talking about the incident. So, obviously, they're they're going to run with this the whole night. Um, hopefully, the hacker shows up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you as always next time. Peace!